today we are going where no favorite French YouTuber has ever gone before. We are going to the nastiest, mustiest, crustiest buffet in my city, which is Vegas. So you know it's gonna be bad. You see, your girl loves buffets. Ain't nothing like having options. You don't order a meal, wait 30 minutes for it for you to not like it. A buffet, you just go in, pay, and you got access to all this ready-made food right now, this instant. I love that. I love going to buffets. But this one, this one is different. Let's read some reviews. The food was absolutely terrible. I'm not even a picky eater, but this wasn't about being picky. This is about people's health. The food was undercooked, meats were soggy, and cowled. The food was just hazardous. Highly don't recommend this place to eat, especially with your kids. Oh, so it ain't good for you. Mm, that sounds dangerous. When you first walk in, they have a sign that says no refunds. Hmm, I wonder why. This is by far the worst place ever. Rude employees, food was cold and disgusting. They have rats galore. Rats? Rats. I saw rat droppings as I was walking out of the bathroom. And also dead roaches in the seat of the table. What? Imagine going to a restaurant, going to sit down, and you just see roaches chilling in your seat. That's their table. They still eat in there. Get me another table. Get me another establishment. They did absolutely nothing about it, and the lady just shrugged her shoulders. You got rats and roaches, and the lady just like... Just another typical day here. <laughs> Get used to it. We all are. First and last time coming here. This place is filthy, dirty, greasy, sticky tables, cold food, disgusting. So you get it. This place is gonna be bad. Let's go. All right, so we just got here to the worst. It's actually one of the worst buffets. There are like a handful of really bad buffets here, but yeah, we're just gonna go in, get some food. I don't know if they're gonna let us bring this big old camera in, so we're just gonna try to be sneaky. We ain't being sneaky. With this camera, I'm just I know. Well, if you're holding it, because it's like literally ugh, this big for me, like the whole the whole setup going on here. But yeah, we're gonna go inside and eat because I'm hungry. Let's go. <laughs> The first thing I noticed when I walked in, this place smells dank. This was the nastiest smelling place I have ever had the misfortune of smelling. They got a lot of seafood, it's fine, I get it, but this place did not smell like seafood. It smelled like dead, rotten fish. That's not like the seafood section in a supermarket or even like a seafood restaurant. I don't mind that at all. But this, this was different. This was some hot garbage trash fish that had expired two weeks ago and you know what they just still put it in the microwave to kill all the bacteria and then they threw it on the grill you feel me it smelled rotten so when you first walk in they make you pay by height so on the wall in sharpie they got the five foot mark and it's like if you're not sure you got to stand and measure yourself on the wall so it was like $15 for adults which is not bad at all that's pretty dang cheap the employees saw a camera on us and they were like hello watch it over us like I wanted to like record the ground and everything in the crevices so you could see how filthy the ground was here they have not washed this place so they had a I would say a pretty good selection of food they had crab legs they had crawfish they had plenty of seafood they had like orange chicken fried rice a handful of desserts I don't know man they had a lot of food they had a good amount they had sushi they had hella sushi the sushi didn't look too good though they had a couple of fresh cut fruit they had jello Ooh. Your girl loves jello. Edamame, shrimp. The poor little shrimp still have the eyes on them. They had some bok choy. They had Mongolian barbecue. You know, they had hella stuff. It's like, if you don't care about food quality, you don't care how dirty it is, where it's been, how it was made. You just care about having a variety of food for $15, like a, a lot of food, then I think this is the place for you. Cause like, they had a good amount of food, I feel, for what you're paying for, but. <sighs> It did not taste good. So when I was recording the food and filling up my plate, the manager came up to me. She was like, sorry, but you can't record. I can't record the food? Yes, we just, just want to be the record of the person. Oh, of the okay. food? I'm not allowed to record. Person. And the food oh, some kind of yeah, yeah. Like for Snapchat, I'm not allowed to record. Dead, dead. I'm like, why? Why can't I record? I'm just recording the food. And then she was like, our waitress doesn't really speak English, but she doesn't want her face being shown. You can't show her. I don't know if this is some like sketchy business going on. I don't know if she's a wanted criminal. You don't know what really goes on in people's lives. But anyways, I told her I wasn't recording anybody's face. I'm just strictly the food. I am a food vlogger. 
<laughs> That's what they all say. But it's like, ain't nobody can tell you you can't record the food. Like, then you really know something's going on. Something's up. <laughs> Excuse me. Health inspector here. But yeah, so I tried a lot of the food, at least what I could eat. You know, I'm gluten free. I, I have to limit myself. And for like these kind of videos, and if something has a little bit of gluten in it, I will, I will take the hit for the video because I don't have like a severe allergy. It's more like a long term thing. I will most likely die faster. But yeah, the food. This is not good. It was not. They told me not to record, but not record anybody, like anybody's face food. So they have a, like a lot of food here. Okay. Crab legs. It doesn't look like that. There you go. No, I ain't no pussy. I, I break on my hands. This is how we eat it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like it. I got jello. I haven't seen jello at a buffet in a while. No. I do enjoy my jello. They're on to me. A fried banana. Oh, they got fried bananas here? They got hella fried bananas. How's it? Pretty good. It's a little dry, but I feel like I'm just gonna get sick from all this, like, different food. You know what that is, right? Crawfish? It's a crawdad. It's a what? Crawdad. Crawdad? Mm -hmm. Like a dad of crawfish? Okay, so the way you're supposed to do this, you grab its head and its body and you twist. And then you slurp the head and the rest of the meat's in the body. No! Mm-hmm. No. I'm gonna do it for you. Ready? Gonna... Is it gonna splatter on mm. me? Mm -hmm. That does not look good. Ew, he sucked that bad boy up. And then you pull the meat from here. He sucked it like you was getting a brand new iPhone for it. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy wants that iPhone X Max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try the sushi. This is like a baked sushi roll. Baked sushi. Okay, you know what? Not bad. It's not bad. It is bad. It's very bad. Okay. It's very bad. Okay, that, that you, you you completely switch sides on that one. I like the crispy parts, but the soft mushy parts inside, it, this ain't it. The crispy parts was pretty good though. This was interesting. It's octopus. Onigiri or I something? think it's squid. Or squid. It's gonna be really chewy. That's like hardcore. You can't even bite it. You can't even bite through. I can't even rip it with my hands. Look, I can't even rip it. This is so tough. I've never had this before. You never had squid? No. I got octopus. Octopus ain't bad, but I've never had squid. It's like I want to like the sushi. I want to like it, but it's not letting me. It's not letting me like it. They gave me a lot of napkins, so they probably knew this was going to happen. Because buffets, <laughs> they never give me napkins. I have some edamame in here somewhere. It doesn't have salt, but it's, it's okay. Watching you chew on the edamame is like watching a little chipmunk. I don't know. I don't know what was in that. That was, that was not it. Round two. I'm gonna go for round two. Everything tasted very questionable. Some things looked very questionable. The chicken did not taste like chicken. This is teriyaki chicken. How is it? Does it taste like teriyaki? I don't like it. Something is off. It's an interesting teriyaki sauce. Are you sure that's teriyaki chicken or teriyaki duck? Ooh, it's chicken. It ain't duck. Have you had duck? Yeah, I hate duck. Do you really? I really dislike duck. I've had duck at fancy places too and it was just not good. This crap is really not good. <gasps> it juiced all over my cantaloupe. <laughs> Or my honeydew. Yeah, you, know, you really gotta work to get the good stuff out. I do like crab legs. Ew. Squirting all over my food, ruining it. There are oysters here. Oh god, this looks horrible. You always go for oysters. I don't know what it I is. I hate oysters. I hate But why them. do you try them? I hate, because maybe one day I'll like them. This is I just, feel like... How okay. do you eat this? Who looked at this and was like, you, we gotta eat this? Who well, looked at this? Like, probably this someone survival. who was trying to survive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dead ass. Oh god, it's still in my mouth. It's still in my mouth. They're like kind of like walking around this. So I don't want to like just be like. Oh. It tastes like a chlorine yeah. tablet. I'm you took so you took a damn to you took a damn chlorine <laughs> tablet and took a bite out of it. I think it would have been more more forgiving than that. Okay. What is this? I don't know. Oh, it's a piece of fish. Was that a big no? Was that a? <laughs> oh, no. They're watching me, so I don't want to spit it out. That was that was really bad. That was the fish. The, the fish is a no. Yeah, to cleanse my palate, I got a, Ooh, a melon. You can't you can't screw up melon. I love melon. 
Which one? Malone. <laughs> Malone. Do you say melon or Malone? If I'm feeling fancy, I say Malone. <laughs> Excellent. Bro, the employees were walking back and forth, like staring at us, like filming. <laughs> it's like some things I really wanted to spit out very badly, and I just like kept them in my mouth until I had a chance to spit out the food. Like it was horrible. Horrendous. The fish. Oh god, I ate that moldy fish. I ate that. I ate it. That was the one. Oh, that didn't even taste like fish. I don't even know what the hell that was. The best thing I had was like the cheesy mussel. I don't know what it was called. It was a mussel, but it looked like a shrimp because I don't I don't know what a mussel is. Oh, you can what, see it's face. I don't know. Is that shrimp? I think it's mackerel. It's a mackerel. No way. Is it mackerel or fish? There's not cheese on it. Taste it. Just taste it. Just taste it. <laughs> it's kinda good. What is it? It's got a face. It looks like a shrimp. Yeah, I think it's a shrimp. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Is it mackerel like a fish? It's called like, it's like mayonnaise mackerel. Mayonnaise mackerel. But it tastes cheesy. It tastes weird, but it's kind of good. It, the cheese helped it. It's like you want to like it, but you, yeah. you, you can't. <laughs> But people were complaining about the signs being wrong and that was the case when I got there. Things were labeled incorrectly. Like you would have sushi and then it would say ice cream. So when I was eating this mussel, it tasted like cheesy fish. But it's like, it tasted a little too good. It's like you wanna like it, but you can't because you don't know where it came from. This is not organic, non-GMO, gluten-free. Oh, mayonnaise mussel. I think that's what it was. I actually enjoyed that. Almost everything tasted questionable. Okay, next up we got coconut pudding, fruit pudding. They just have like these little squares and then this little like layered orange cake thing and uh kind of oh god it's sticky it's sticky hey this looks like chocolate mousse but it's not look at the color of it it's like a gray a gray chocolate mousse this is all dessert and then we got some fried rice and we got some beef okay i'm gonna try the fried rice rice was actually decent until I found a hair in it. Ew. There's a hair. That's a hair. That's a hair, isn't it? Can you see that? Can you see that? That's a hair. That's not mine. What the? Can you see this? Oh my god. Ew. <laughs> that's yours. Oh, that's mine. nasty. You know, after reading the reviews, the mouse and the cockroaches, you know, a hair didn't sound that bad. That was definitely not our hair. I don't even think that hair came from someone's head. I don't know, man. I've been to like five-star restaurants and gotten a hair in my food, so I, I'm, I'm kind of used to it at this point. I'm not even surprised. I'm honestly thankful it wasn't a roach. Imagine you eat some stir fries, some orange chicken, teriyaki beef or whatever. Mm, that a little too crunchy. Uh, you pull out a roach. Hell no. Okay, let's try this. The, the beef. That does not taste like beef. What is it? It tastes like cardboard with barbecue sauce and, and some kind of really bad oil. Oh, God. no. Mm -mm. No, you took the whole bite. He took the whole bite. He ate the whole bite. You absolute mad lad. The beef, girl, that was not beef. That was dog food covered in barbecue sauce. Like that, I refuse to believe. That was beef. If that's beef, then we got some beef. You know what? I just want to try dessert. We'll go with the mystery mousse first. Look at this. It's gray. Look. It's warm. That's not chocolate. That is not chocolate. What is it? I don't know. Can I hold it up the camera? And then tilt it, and see? Ew, you're so gross. What is that? <laughs> His face. I don't know what that was. Okay, moving on. That ain't me. Fruit, fruit pudding. I don't know what kind of fruit it is, but it doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> His face, he's upset. Next, layered orange cake. I can only have the top of it. It's very sticky and it's very orangey. And the coconut pudding. The coconut isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not bad, but I don't know what that flavor is. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Which, don't which like one's it. You have? I don't know how you can mess up coconut pudding that bad. Which one's coconut pudding? This coconut pudding, the white one. It's like this food looks good, but I want to eat this meat and the fried rice because your girl loves fried rice. You know, I'm really hungry. <laughs> I want to eat. I am really hungry. For the dessert, they had cubes of pudding. It was not pudding. Coconut pudding, fruit pudding. The fruit didn't even taste like a fruit. I don't even know what it tasted like. Like they're just like gelatin cubes with very slight chemical artificial flavoring. And don't get me started on the chocolate mousse. 
Bro, you could have walked to Walmart, bought yourself a 99 cent packet of chocolate mousse, prepared that, and it would have been 50 billion times better than what I had the misfortune of trying. I'm scarred, like it said chocolate mousse. It was not chocolate, it was gray. Chocolate is not gray. When I was done, I went to the bathroom. Oh, oh, just thinking of the, the putrid, nasty smell in the bathroom. Boy. Imagine if people didn't even try to like do it in the toilet and they just did it all over the ground all day And then they just took a hose and like hosed it up or you know the toilets just overflowed and they just drained all of it But it has been sitting there all day. That's what it smelled like. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna hold up Excuse me. Or imagine having Taco Bell. When it's all in the toilet, just stick your head in the toilet, waft it up your nostrils. You know, I, I really can't describe how disgusting it was. I'm trying, I'm desperately trying, but I don't think it does it justice. I didn't even want to go to the bathroom. I didn't even want to sit on the toilet. I didn't want to touch anything in there. I just washed my hands and left. It was disgusting. One star buffet. I got a one star experience, so at least we got what we expected. <laughs> but anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do a part two on the best buffet ever, make sure you hit that like button in the face and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.